We have a Citadel and Site Mission 3rd episode. First time that I'm gonna talk to the Dasari in here. If it's here. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. She's like a therapist with a little bit more sexual healing. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Oh, but if on. you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. That's a massage thing. That's actually a massage thing. Uh... I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. How about right now? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Uh, that topic on that place doesn't exist in Mass Effect 2. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. She even gets a cutscene. And she was spying on us. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Ah, oh, maybe later was the right answer, actually. That would be fun. Oh. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. No, I'm just here for Chada. I work here. Do you work here, Mozo? That pink outfit lifts it away. Looks weird, though. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Sure. I don't like those outfits. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. The concept is a wonderful person. She has quite a gift. Okay, drunk is shut up. More cutscenes for her. Oh look, sex bubble. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some comfort to others i have a certain problem that could use your expertise maybe i can help i have a friend septimus a retired turian general i won't discuss the details but he wanted me to be more than i could be we had a falling out now he spends his days in cora's den drinking and spreading lies about me if you would speak to him as a fellow soldier i believe he will listen to you and let the matter be no. Touch me. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. 
If you can convince him to stop spreading <laughs> lies about me, I would be very grateful. Oh, uh, that looks awkward. Money. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Money, grateful. Please, Commander. I ask that you return to me only after you have spoken with Septimus. Good job taking the bullet for Rigurus. What a good Turian. I should my squad mates, that's weird. Yeah, okay, enough of that. Oh, that's. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous. Uh, shut up. A little far away. Oh, that's a far away. I saw a quest marker. Right on the other side too that I'm gonna check out a little bit. Hmm. Where is it? Might be up here in that office. This elevator leads down to C sector line stock and pick and find you. Okay. Like right here. But it wasn't this stage, it wasn't underneath it. it. Must be on top. That's even possible. Oh, it's just an elevator, and I didn't see it. Let's see. This is truly magnificent. Most Prothean architecture I see is in ruins. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show, not much crime up here. Okay. I don't know. Anything to say about Gary? Shepard, what can I do for you now? I'll be going now. Me. Goodbye, Commander. That bothers me. Doesn't want to talk about Gary. Damn you. Why do you work together? to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. What? Oh, damn. That's... Andy. Is that the nightclub? No, it's not. It's a shop. That's the nightclub. Let's do that right away then. Fourteen fifty. Clockwise. Okay. I should have enough paragon, I believe. This is a early game quest. Commander. <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Well, does that sound shady? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. And why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. 
Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Well, I don't think I'm gonna ever make it that far. Try talking. Go away. Let me, let me drink it. God, I'm just over here. <laughs> so great. It's not worth it. Yeah, skip. Skip. Okay, number one. Talk to Zeltan. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Actually, we have proof. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. God, it talks so slow. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I I'm must... sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Yeah, to shut up. Jesus Christ. The room of slow talkings. Aliens. Oh. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow oh. me to be your so guide. Slow, and I don't know what the quest marker wants from me. Maybe it's for the elevator downstairs. Okay. you. I was down there, checking it out. I didn't see a thing. Oh, let me run over there. We're already here. I need to cut it then. And one side quest or two. Coming up then. Septimus has sent word. Apparently he sought the consort's forgiveness. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel, and to the Consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. <laughs> That's not strange. Many uh. of us have felt the same calling. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Oh, shut up. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Actually, I will die. Very soon. Oh. Um, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. I want money. Money. She's kind of pitching into me. Money, please, instead. Ah. Uh, 
I'd rather get paid, yo. This is a friend zone, let's play. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. I wish I could roast her. But apparently that's not a thing. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my yeah. words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. The true renegade version wouldn't be asking for more money instead. Especially as the female Shepard. The male Shepard it would be. Yeah. Well, bang. And that's it. Fine. Is it part of my equipment's the trinket? No? No, it's not. Mm, that's weird. So it's nothing of use. Remarkable. Nature and technology combined in one elegant hole. But it ain't. Cut. This is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Why are you gonna do that? But first... Side quest here. I need you and technic and skills of this turret. No equipment. Chrome Rex, Scorpion, that better be better. <laughs> oh my well spent money. That's not even better. Okay, squad. Yeah, sure. And you, heck, 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 heck. Swim. See if that gun is gonna be disappointing. Mm -mm. No, not. That looks exactly like the British ship. I don't blame them. Just great. Kill differently. Kill the hostage. Oh, now, no. Move. Yep, I agree. Ah! This singularity, me. Jesus. Don't get me next time. Jesus. Who the hell is that? Dude. Yeah, this gun is worthless. You must die! Okay. Now it is fun. Shields disabled. Okay, uh, done. That sort of rough sucks. Just says nothing. Nothing. Negative contacts, Commander. Uh, let's keep that on. It's down here. That's it. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. 
Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish this charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. What? Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Oh, I thought this the Saris quest, Thank is you, it? Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. Oh, loot it all, not gonna check it out even. To the loot it all. Mine. Mine, 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 mine. Hop, come on, out of the way. Move. Yeah, oh, what more episode of side quest over my gets started. This is that episode. I believe it's Tassari's quest. No clue though. In certain tires. <laughs> but definitely was a showcase of how strong biotics are. I got prone. Right through stasis at me. Which was a good choice. Is that the Message coming quest? in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Hmm. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Well, that's not the right quest. It's not the right quest. So hard. Survey. Survey. It's not the Zari's quest. The hell? The hell, General Blumeyer? This plan done. Don't even read the name of the planet, but it's always only one for understand it correctly. Except let's go. Oh god, I hey, driving. That's decent looking. Scatting behind me. I don't want to loot too much. I hope it's the right one, even. Oh, yeah, there's enemies here. That'll be. Loot.
<laughs> oh, I didn't dodge it. Let's continue. Enter. I wanted to switch up my sword ruffle. I just remembered that. I always press tab. And I gotta be better. It's because of the heat sink alone. And uh, lightning and the thunder. Let's just pull it in. Looks like an avenger a little bit. Raise uh, tomato stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Turn on each other. Yeah. Nice. Damn that. Just did too much damage. I will destroy you. Damn. Strong. Strong those silver scrapes. Where? No, oh, Jesus. Right here. There. That's so rough, was way better. On right now. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. 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 Disgusting. So I'm gonna have to quick scope my way through then. Or in this cluster. In pyramid. So in the open. No. Yes. Data disk. That's the last of them. What do you mean? What the hell do you mean it still does? I don't even wanna collect that in front of me. Cut. I'll find the next one. Right, here. Yeah, shooting the untas. Silos. So that's. But I don't like the side quests, they're just too boring. Even if the loot is good, but it won't be done again. He's trapped inside the outdoors of husks. Husks at us. Singularity. 
damn thing. Or in the bot. Wah, wah. Go, go, go! Service commando. That's probably one proof thing. That's it. Disgusting. Four in three. Oh, did they? Oh. I wonder what oh, Cerberus they horrors get? will find at the next Four base. Four in three. Clear. Oh, they took that a four in three. Oh, and the two. And two in armor. Probably could have destroyed. How did you get your hands on those creeps? Bigger question. Oh, cut. We're the last, hopefully. Our post. Ping to is the planet's name. If the make could barely get in there without flipping over. Oh, every second time. Thanks, those turrets don't have machine guns. Ha! Ah. Loses. Very heavily armed. What's in here this time? Do they have a captured matriarch? Maybe Gaff? Gaff would be a good guess. Oh. What are those things even on the floor? Yeah, now I work. Uh. Oh boy. Good, everybody's flying. of headshots. There Clear. it is. We check for pulse but find none. Admiral Gorgor is dead. Despite the ferocity of the creatures he was seared in with, there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The nail marks on his arm suggest a different means of execution. Oh, goddess. It's Admiral Kohoku. Cerberus must have tracked him down. One last stop to make, Shepard. We owe Kohoku that much. Wait, what? There's more to do here. Well, do we need to do then? It is dogs. Oh, damn it. There's more and more facility to destroy. I bet it looks exactly like they do here. And I'm probably missed loot in here. Anyways. Yes, that's where we're gonna go for the episode's final. Right, that's a bigger side quest. No, oh, beautiful planet. Take that moon. There's one more thing on this planet to check out. How the hell did I press that? It's multiple left. Anyways, cut. Last planet to go down to. Hopefully. Finish all the side quests we're gonna do. Unless they're actually loyalty quests that I check out. But I don't think one squad mate will get that loyalty quest done for certain day. This plan is also looking kinda nice. I'm here left behind. Stood up. Stood up. That's why it looks nice. It stood us. 
Jesus, it's still us. <laughs> Barely. Holy hell. I climb this, please. Shut yourself. Let's just go down. What? It's here. Yes. Still, still, still. <laughs> I don't even want to check out everything else on this planet because it's so full of hills. It's not worth it. Damn! Hit. Sent him flying. What's up, bro? Oh, you should have sit on top of this thing. Idiot. Thanks for the make tip. It's probably glitched. No, okay. Hmm. Nice high tech facility. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's throw a singularity here and an overload. Lift. Shields. God damn. Sniper. Didn't work. Oh boy. Quick. Everything onto this dude. Damn you. That glitched and I couldn't just hit nothing. That's just a glitch at all. Yeah, that snap is good. Cautiously press a few buttons and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself quickly. You copy as many files as you can to your hard suit's internal computer. Its memory wipes. The computer shuts down. The files are so to be encrypted, but you've got time to crack them. Okay. Seems like it's done though. So, mission done. Mm. 
Lord. That's take it all. Nothing with X in it so far. Not much. Probably will get sold. The Phoenix. Okay. No music. Nothing in the background. Boring. Just footsteps. Love it. It's a grenade. More footsteps. Sounds. Oh, there gotta be a message coming from that mill then when we return. Transmission coming in, Commander. Yeah. I think you're gonna want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kahoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kahoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. These are classified Alliance files. I am not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. My, my loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. We don't get anything from you. And in the next game, it will be forgotten. I think we need to throw Maya next. And Peregrine points. Safe. We're done. Got it. Peace out. And it's over. Over.